What's new here? You know, there's really not too much new here. I think the expectation in the marketplace is that Lachlan would go with the new Fox, which will have the broadcast, Fox broadcast networks, the, the, the news business and so on, uh, and that Rupert would, would obviously go in his chairman role, much like he has today. So uh, that's not new. And, and James uh, Murdoch, the other son who was working at 21st Century Fox, uh, it was always expected that he would probably take his money and go do something different, whether it's, uh, you know, something more entrepreneurial, maybe in, in technology and media. I think what this does suggest to some investors, however, is that the fact that they put out this press release suggests that maybe the Murdochs have a, a level of confidence that the transaction with 21st Century Fox and Disney will go through as planned. So that's the thing, right? Because as you said, we all sort of expected that this is how it was going to be going forward. But if they're talking about a new Fox, they've already got a whole idea for what it's going to look like. And that suggests that they don't have a question in their heads anymore about who's going to buy this company. Uh, I think they should, though. I think, yeah. you know, again, Comcast is a extremely credible bidder, uh, and the same logical strategic reasons that Disney wants to own 21st Century Fox for the international exposure and for the content and so on, uh, those same rationale, that same rationale applies to Comcast. And again, Comcast has the balance sheet to do it. They have the ability to pay cash. So I think this, uh, you know, this deal for 21st Century Fox is far from over. I think there are, you know, the question is, will there be a bidding war? Um, or will perhaps Comcast and Disney maybe carve up some of the assets at 21st Century Fox and uh, kind of go, go their own way? So uh, that will play out over the summer. Um, but I still think there are many chapters here.